What's good, y'all? Thanks for tuning back in to Air Trafficking. It's your man E, and I'm back with another massive unboxing, of course. All these pickups are coming from StockX today. That's right, over the last couple months, I've been selling off bits and pieces of the collection. You know, sneakers that I just didn't want anymore, or doubles that I just didn't need. Um, so I've had a little bit of extra cash and I took about two bands and dropped it at StockX to get some of the sneakers that I've been wanting in the collection that, you know, I wasn't able to get on release day. So with that being said, hit that subscribe button if you're not already, click the like button and share the video, and let's get into these pickups. Alright guys, so first up, we've got a pickup that I've been wanting for a while. This one um, actually was a little bit hard to get for me personally, I know on release date, uh, the bots pretty much eat up everything on the site if you're working without a bot you're not gonna get it and then when they dropped on Nike I actually overslept so I missed the opportunity to pick them up as you can see right off the rip which probably gives one of the three colors away we got a Supreme uh, logo there and it's coming in your Nike box pullout drawer and we have the Nike Air more up tempo or sup tempo and you guys probably already know which colorway I got if you don't and of course, as you can see, your boy had to go with the gold color. As you know, Nike and Supreme did collab to do three total colorways on the uh, Pippins or the Air More Tempos here. Um, out of the three pairs, I definitely had to go with the gold. Personally, I felt like it was more unique than the other two colorways. I mean, when it boils down to it, it just comes to personal preference. I just much rather have those classic colorways in its normal state with the air on the upper versus the collab here where you can see they have the supreme that goes across the upper which is really dope in my opinion all in all i'm really happy with my decision i'm sure the red and the black pair are dope but these gold things here just pop um in fact i do believe that they're the most popular out of the three colorways of course because it is different and it's unique so next up we got another package that or another sneaker I should say that I've been wanting for a while this one of course is a Jordan and it was very limited to be honest with you um, in that it wasn't even available over here in the States so uh, normally when sneakers aren't readily available to me or I'm unable to pick it up on release day I have to turn to secondary markets to pick them up and um, Fortunate enough, I was able to scoop this one up for a really good price because the prices now are going up. But we've got a Jordan pullout drawer box. So when seeing that shield in this box, then you know that we've got four possible sneakers. So while I take them out of the box, I'm gonna give you guys a second so you can guess which one I picked up. So we're back. Guys, did you guess right? As you can see, we've got the Jordan 12 PSNY or public school collab in the Paris colorway or Bordeaux. And I can't even lie, this shoe looks as good as I thought it was going to look. Definitely not something that you're going to see every day. And I'm really loving the color. This is one of my favorite colors. As I mentioned, it is limited in the fact that it was only available to those in Europe pretty much. Those that had access to the sneakers app over there and were able to actually check out with a pair. Um, comparing this one to the other PSNY 12 that I have uh, from I think two years ago, um, you can see they basically have really close similarities within the upper. The uh, new buck that they dress the upper in has like an ashy kind of real rugged appearance to it. I don't know why they chose to do that. I'm guessing it has something to do with New York. Personally, I would much rather a nice long hair suede on the upper that's definitely not to take away from the shoe though hopefully down the line i'll be able to pick up the milan pair and the nyc although i'm not really sure if i'm going to be picking them up because the prices i've been seeing have been getting uh, a little bit steep there so i might just have to call it a day and go without be happy with these in the gray pair so next up coming from stock x we got a jordan one here um, with this particular shoe I actually owned it. I've owned three pairs of them. I know we've all had that feeling before when we've gotten rid of something that we really didn't want to get rid of, but we figured, hey, 
why pass up the price that we can actually sell it for um, so I ended up using one of my $25 off coupon codes. I had ordered something off of Stop X, like uh, I think it was the Jordan 9 Pinnacles in the brown colorway, and the seller never shipped. So once I got the code, it's only one shoe that came to mind that I could see myself using the code for, and that was to reacquire these Jordan 1 Top Threes. If you didn't get a chance to catch my initial pickup video on these Jordan 1 Top 3s, y'all gonna have to forgive me. I know what I said about these things. I know I didn't really know whether or not I was gonna keep them, but I kind of like them now. I don't know why. We've of course seen this theme in a number of Nike's What the Theme Shoes. This one being a little more subtle in the fact that you don't have 14 to 17 different colors just thrown on both of the sneakers. And I think that was one of the big determining factors with me actually adding it back to the collection. Let's go ahead and get into this next pack. All right, so next up, we got another Jordan 1 coming from Stock X. This one right here is a sleeper. Um, I was really surprised to see that it's not really that highly sought after and the prices being as low as they are, specifically because this particular shoe is uh, extremely limited. Um, if I didn't mention already, we got a Jordan 1. We got the special white box here. Size 12, of course. Let's go ahead and see what we got in the pack. As you can see, the sneakers came with a white dust bag. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the important part, which is the sneaker, the Jordan 1 wing. I initially struck out on this sneaker, of course, on release day as they are only limited to about 19,400 pairs. Initially, the things were selling for $800 to $1,000, but the price dramatically dropped within like a week and a half of the release. I guess people just weren't feeling the colors. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, getting the sneakers in hand, looking at them. They are gonna be kind of tough to find things to match with them. But the overall quality isn't that bad. I mean, the leather feels really nice. I'm not too sure on why they didn't just go with a true gold color. And looking at the upper, in my opinion, it looks like they took gold, bronze, and like rust and just mixed them together and came up with something. Also with the upper having those black uh, details on it, it just kind of looks antique. Sort of kind of like what a statue would look after many years of just sitting outside in the elements. But overall, I think it's a decent shoe. Again, like I said, it's gonna be definitely hard to find things to uh, go with these sneakers. Hopefully you guys, if you wanted it, were able to add it to the collection without breaking the bank. I know I'm definitely thankful that the hype died down on these quickly. Last but not least, We've got a Jordan that basically took me months to track down. Um, I finally found it after months and months of searching in my size. And not only just in my size, but for a reasonable price that I was willing to pay because I was seeing some crazy listings for this particular shoe. This release in particular was an Asia only exclusive release. So I definitely didn't have many avenues of actually acquiring the sneaker. So enough of the anticipation. Let's go ahead and break the box open and see what we got on the inside. Boom. We got the Jordan 10 Shane High. Very rare shoe. Haven't seen this sneaker in person yet on anybody's feet. Even the reviews on YouTube, um, they're far and few in between. Um, I did see this sneaker on a couple of sites, but again, as I said, in the size 12, those bigger sizes, especially with the Asia only exclusive releases, they are really hard to come by. The Shanghai 10 here would have been the last sneaker that I needed to complete my city pack. But as I mentioned, I have been selling off a lot of sneakers, but with good reason because now I'm able to add these to the collection. One thing that I really love about this sneaker is that gradient from the uh, purple to like the aqua blue on the outsole. It looks really dope and it really sets the sneaker off. As you can see, it does match perfectly well with some of the detail that you can find on the upper. Of course, for the most part, it's solid black, but along the trim, of each panel it does have those same aqua and purple colors and it just looks really dope to me 
I definitely appreciate being able to pick up you know sneakers that you don't see on everyone's feet every day and I definitely like having more limited items in the collection just for that reason all right guys well that wraps it up for this five pack massive unboxing from stock X I definitely feel like I got some things that I could wear out there and I won't really have to worry about seeing them on anyone else's feet as always hit the subscribe button if you're not already and click that notification bell too while you're at it so you don't miss any more dope massive unboxings from me from here on out be sure to hit that like button and share the video if you're able to do so follow me on twitter instagram snups app and now snapchat at the name you see on the screen at this time and keep it locked to air traffic here for more dope massive unboxings just like this one until next time i'm taking off